uh, respected professors, delegates, my dear friends, good morning and welcome to my poster presentation uh, for the 74th annual RILAM week. My name is Agam Gopani and I will be presenting my research work uh, on the topic preparing and optimizing mixed design for 3D printable concrete. So uh, let us uh, first start from the aim of the research. Uh, as we all know friends that uh, traditionally concrete has been used with the help of a formwork system and there are several disadvantages associated with this uh, traditional practice such as uh, there is a a higher uh, deshuttering time there, there are a lot of safety issues material wastage issues so uh, interest uh, interestingly we have been working on a topic uh, which uh, allows uh, concrete to be used uh, with the help of an uh, additive manufacturing system so uh, we have we try to work upon the a system which is based on 3d printing concrete so uh, as we can see here, the, the scope of the work was divided into two parts, which was study of the materials uh, from its source, uh, understanding its properties, its chemical as well as physical, re reading uh, several uh, Indian codes based on the locally available materials and laboratory tests associated with the materials. Now, the as we can see, the research methodology was divided into four parts, which was literature study of similar or relevant topics uh, previously, then the study of materials and preparing of mixed design. Then it includes a laboratory test where like uh, we prepared about 60 mixed designs as well as tested over 200 uh, cubes of 70 mm by 70 mm size. And finally, we uh, concluded our research with the uh, data analysis and a conclusion part. So uh, as we can see here, there are, there are several benchmarks associated with uh, this research program. It includes a slump, uh, compressive strain, a quick setting time, a limited uh, buildability as well as water cement ratio. Now my hypothesis is based on four steps, which is uh, first of all, get a proper flowability of the concrete material then jump onto the buildability property, achieve a compressive strength value, and then print our material with a 3D printer system. So friends, this is how a 3D printer will look like as we can see on the top right hand corner. And uh, there are uh, several parts associated with a 3D printer system, which is uh, a progressive cavity pump. And uh, it has uh, been geared into several parts and the most important part is the stepper motor, which uh, allows the 3D printer to work on uh, three axes, which is X, Y, and Z. And this is a six degree of freedom model, which uh, uh, will print the uh, 3D printed uh, raw material. So this is the flowchart of the uh, process where we start with the material mix design planning, then check for extrudibility if we do not get this, then we change the mix proportion and uh, then proceed with the shape retention property, then buildability, and then the printing parameters. Uh, as I had already discussed, that traditional concrete printing system, uh, traditional concrete practices uh, can be uh, problematic at times. And with the help of 3D printing system, we can see that four different parts can be nullified towards only one single part, which is the process of 3D printing. These are the pro photos of the properties which I had uh, established, uh, which I had worked upon, which is extrudibility, shape retention, and uh, buildability property. So uh, several inferences which we were, which were concluded upon are the properties of fly ash, uh, concrete premix mortar, uh, effect of the sand replacement and effect of super blastizers or accelerator on the uh, raw material property. And uh, as usual, we uh, always in a research phase several challenges and problems. So here we can see clogging of material due to uh, alkali resistant fibers. And uh, at times the concrete cubes got dissolved due to low temperature uh, at the place where this research was conducted. So now friends, this is how my research went.